Hello everybody, Glitch Ruby here. I'm back for another Magic Duel Story Mode moment. Here we're going, continuing with the story of Ammon Cat, and we're on the third trial. So it's only going to be two more before, well, things are pretty much over for me doing this kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to be going into other things like Arena, and maybe other ways of showing off various aspects of Magic Duels as well. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this particular part of the storyline. This is the Trial of Strength, by the way. Within his monument, the god Ronus has assembled a collection of wild beasts to challenge your prowess in battle. The hiss of serpentine heads and barely audible clawed footfalls keep you on edge. You keep a white-knuckled grip on your weapon as you make your way through the snarling gauntlet of foes. You can see a Hydra right over there, so that's kind of a sign. So Neheb versus Trial of Strength. Let's go. Um, that, that, that's, that's a fair start. Uh, I, I can, I can kind of go with that. I can build with this. It'll be a slow start, but it'll, it'll be a decent start. So I'll pop an island there. Because I have a few things that might be able to work out. Bounty of the Lux is interesting. That just... it's a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> and I might be able to play it soon. Say... forest? Uh, no, I'm not gonna cycle the sandworm. I'm gonna keep him. At least for a while. I mean, he's pretty big. And he'll possibly come in handy later. So no, I'm not going to cycle this guy. Ornery Kodu. Whenever it enters the battlefield, it gets a minus one, minus one counter. Now this is important for interesting ways. Uh, putting minus one, minus one counters on your creatures is actually kind of an aspect of this set. Uh, they can be removed in certain ways as well. Uh, let me see, that's a 2-3, and this produce a 4-2 green beast token. And if I play a cartouche, it'll be returned to my hand. Well, the, the, the trial will. This is Trial of Strength. It, uh, as an enchantment, might add, each trial has its own enchantment version. Uh, so you can actually collect the trials themselves in, in this. Uh, rampant Growth, uh, maybe later, if I need a slight mana boost. Right now I'm probably going to play Trial of Strength. So I, I cast Trial of Strength, get myself a nice creature there. It, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a beast, a, just a beast. It, it kind of looks like a croc, but it's not exactly. It's actually kind of like a chimera, because I see like the body of a lion or something there. Yeah, that would be mutually assured destruction. Uh, Vizier of the Menagerie. Oh gosh. Look at the top card of your library. You may do this at any time. You may cast the top card of your library if it's a creature card. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast creature spells. Okay. This this Naga Cleric is pretty serious. The 3-4 that knows what it's doing. Um, I know I could use an island, but I'm just going to throw out this woodland stream for now. Because I'm just going to cast this anyhow. So, trial, uh, well, cartouche of knowledge grants a creature plus one, plus one, and flying, and I draw a card. Which also means I have the burden of a heavy hand for next time. But this is uh, back into my... That's back into my hand, so I'll be able to use it. So I'm going to hit decently hard. Right now we're going to smack each other pretty viciously because they got about five points of damage coming in my direction, and I've got five points that just went out in theirs. So this is just going to be a rapid back-and-forth smash for a little while. Let's see, that was for... I have... I'm going to have five next time. 
So, yeah, as I said, you're gonna hit me, then I'm gonna hit you. We're gonna do this little dance for a while. This it, this is gonna be just a brutal smackdown. Like, no debate. Another ornery code, uh, kodu. Kudu? <laughs> oh. You put in a minus one, minus one counter on that one. Okay. Because whenever... Th there's a lot of creatures... Oh, and a rune servitor. Cool. Whenever that goes down, we all draw cards. How grateful. Okay. Let's do this. Got some interesting things coming here. Weaver of Currents. Uh, this one lets me add a couple of, of colors to my mana pool by tapping it later. So, yeah. Might do that. Uh, see, do I want a Bounty of the Luxa, though? Because I could, but I need more creature power. So what I'm... Uh, the Weaver Currents would be interesting to do that with. But I think I'd like to go Trial of Strength, Cartouche of Knowledge again. Wait, how many would I have after that? Let me see. One, two, three... Five, six, uh, I'd have six afterwards. Okay, fair enough. It wouldn't be totally maxed out. So, Trial of Strength. Cartouche of Knowledge. So, power up. Grant Flight. I'd have uh, seven all the <laughs> So that is getting ridiculous. Got one to block with. This is going to be a slugfest. And this could get narrow. But I have that greater sandworm incoming. That's going to be kind of ridiculous. I don't know if it'll last that long, but we'll see. Are you going to attack, or are you going to stay in defense mode? Because, admittedly, you're getting a little corralled here. Oh yeah, got myself a forest. Uh, wait, six? Not quite. See, Weaver of Currents, if I play this, I'd have three left. I'd be able to try all the strength again, actually. Gosh, this is getting ridiculous. Of course, I could also Rampant Growth. I'm gonna Weaver of Currents. Of course, that'll give me plenty of mana. So next time, I'll be able to play that Sandworm. You see here, Trial of Strength, maybe? Yeah, I'll Trial of Strength. So, getting some more creatures in here. And they don't have Reach or Flying, so this'll be game right now, actually, because I've got 10 points of Flying damage incoming uh, to them. Uh, yeah, you're sorry about whooping you so so fast here, but sometimes that just happens. The computer did not have good luck. Pouncing Cheetah. Flash, and it's a 3-2. But does that do anything for them? Because I didn't see reach on that Cheetah. Haze of Pollen. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Uh, and it can be cycled for three if they wanted to. So, I'm, I'm, uh, if you can overcome an assault of such aggressive serenity. <laughs> it's an interesting thought. Yeah, basically, this combat is being just negated. Or they're also severely drained in mana. Although, that was on my turn, so they'll be getting all that back. Okay, big assault. Uh, I can actually block with my Weaver Currents and take one out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Pouncing Cheetah? Nah. Uh, this one will give me an extra card. Although, it would be cool to whack this one out completely, because it's pretty high damaging. This guy's special abilities would be annoying. So I'm probably going to take him out anyhow, just because I have an opportunity. He has one of the more annoying sets of abilities, and I've got plenty of card draws because of my setup here. So they managed to save themselves from being completely eradicated. 
Shed weakness. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. You may remove a minus one, minus one counter from it. See what I mean by there being a way to remove those uh, counters? Also, there's some other ways to do it, too. Oh, you're going to hit me harder with that one rather than worry about your creature. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a fair trade. So now I'm down to five. But there's still, like, one flying assault away from being completely defeated. And they are tapped out. And I have Cartouche of Knowledge again. <laughs> uh, that's almost meme level worthy there. Uh, wow. How, how much is that? Seven overall? Let me see. Those five... Just... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and unleash the Greater Sandworm. So... Sorry about this, but I have an enormous sandworm that if you somehow manage to survive this, that thing would probably be your doom. Then again, I couldn't be able to block all their stuff, so we'll see. Yep, it went in clear. So as usual, the solution is attack with everything that you currently have at the end of a story mode duel. Okay. <laughs> And Neheb has won the Trial of Strength. Him and his Flaming Bident. Yeah, there's actually a gap in there. It may be hard to see, but that's a Bident. I Meaning it's like a two-pronged spear-like thing. A light at the end of the monument guides you forward to the feet of Ronus, the snake-headed god of strength. He meets your gaze with bold approval, and his cartouche lands in your hands with satisfying weight. With three cartouches in hand, you have shed your doubts. Around you, your fellow initiates nod at one another. You all know what comes next in the Trial of Ambition. So, yeah, it, it, as the one who's the god of strength, obviously his cartouche has the heftiest weight. It's like, yeah, I'm really strong, so you've you got to be two just to hold this. Even though it's technically made of magic. <laughs> so he just added extra weight to it whenever he made that. So, yeah. Anyhow, that was a pretty quick run-through. Uh, as I said, the, the one of the biggest trials of, uh, of all in terms of like story mode missions has already been over with, and these are basically just a blitz by comparison. So there's a couple more, and they're going to be uh, somewhat RNG heavy, but very fast. And that's going to be something that's going to be coming up with the next couple. So remaining, we have the Trial of Ambition and the Trial of Zeal. But for now, oh, excuse me, for now I'll be logging off. So, hope to hear from you all later. Bye for now, everybody. And remember, Friday Night Magic.